everyone and welcome to Heather's Happy Stitches. I'm Heather. Um, today we will be making a small personal dice bag or drawstring bag for coins. Um, for me I'm going to use it as a dice bag. I already have two sets of dice in here and they're, it can comf comf comfortably fit three sets. Um, I apologize in advance for any sniffling that you hear. I am currently suffering from a sinus infection and my sinuses are really clogged. So I'm constantly sniffling trying to clear my airway. Um, and I am, I was super tired when I filmed this. So my voice is kind of quiet and I've tried to enunciate the volume a little bit. But I apologize in advance for the sniffling and the volume. But otherwise, other than that, thank you. Enjoy, and I hope you have a great day. All right, so as always, we are going to need a crochet hook. This one is a 4.0 millimeter. Scissors, a tapestry needle, a stitch marker, and some yarn. The color I'm using today is Flamingo by Red Heart Super Saver. Alright, so to start we are going to make a magic ring and just lay the yarn over the, your pinky and ring finger. Wrap it around your finger so that you have two on top. And then go under, grab hold of the second one, pull it through, twist so that your hook faces up, and then grab hold of the yarn that is still attached to the ball, and pull through making a slip knot. Alright, so then to start, we are going to make eight single crochets into the magic ring. And then to begin round two, we're going to increase in each each stitch around. So that's two, 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 all the way around. So to be, so now we have 16. So your ring might open up a little bit as you're working. Just pull the uh, yarn, your tail taut until you can sew it in later. So now to begin round three, we are going to increase in the first one. So that's two in the same stitch. One and two mark your first stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch and that's the pattern all the way around two one two one two one two one all the way around Two, 
two. One. If you want to pause the video and continue making your stitches, we will meet back up uh, when I finish. Alright, so I just finished round three and you should have 24 stitches and you should have ended with the single crochet so now for round four we are going to increase in the first stitch That's one two Mark your stitch. And then a single crochet in the next two. So one, two. And that's our pattern all the way around. Two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. All the way around. That's one, two, one, and one. Just like that, all the way around. And if you want to pause the video so you can create your stitches, we can meet up when I am done, when we are done. All right, so I am just finishing up my last two stitches. And we should have a count of 32. And you should have ended with the two single crochets. All right, in round five, we are going to increase in the first. Mark our first stitch. And then single crochet in the next three. That's one. Two and three. So that's the pattern all the way around. Two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. All the way around. So that's one, two. One, 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 all the way around. So if you want to pause the video and keep working, we will meet back up when we have finished this round or about to finish this round. All right, so if you kept your count correct, you should have 40 and you should have ended with the three single crochets. All right, for round six, we are going to increase into the first one. One, two, Mark your first stitch. 
And then we're going to single crochet into the first four. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, oops. Two, three, and four. And that's our pattern all the way around. Two, one, 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 one. Two, one, 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 one. So one, two, one. three and four and just like that all the way around you want to pause the video and continue and make all your stitches I will continue and meet you back Meet back up with you when we get to the end. And that makes 48. Oops, grabbed hold of my stitch marker. 48. All right, so we are all done increasing. Before we start our next round, I am going to Secure my yarn, or weave in my yarn, or weave in my end. Ugh. So that I don't have to worry about it opening up anymore. Just pull it tight. And we're all done. All right. So now, like I said, we are all done increasing. What we're gonna do for round seven is we are going to work single crochet into the back stitch only. So you, if you see here, there's a front loop and a back loop of your stitch. So we're going to work in just this back loop here. And we're going to do that all the way around. If you want to pause and work your stitches, we will meet back up when I have completed my, when we have completed our rounds. And 48 in the back stitch only. So as you can see, it, the bottom is still flat. But we have a nice ridge here to work. So now it will start to come up instead of bowl out. Like that. So now from eight for rounds eight through eleven, we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around. And you should have 48 stitches in each round. So we're working in both stitches again. 
We only did the back stitch on the pr on round seven because we wanted it to come up instead of pull out, like I said. So if you want to pause the video and work rounds eight through eleven. Oops. Right here. You can go ahead and we will meet back up when we are about done with round 11. And 48. All right, so as you can see, our shape is forming. And here, if you want to change colors um, to have a band around your dice bag or drawstring bag, you can, um, but I am just going to uh, use the same color. So for round 12, we are going to half double crochet. All the way around. And the reason for the half double crochet instead of the single crochet is because of the band. If you wanted to um, change colors to have the single band, it is more prominent than just having it as a single crochet. So that is the reason why we're doing half double crochet here and instead of the single crochet. We're just going to half double crochet all the way around. And you can pause the video here. And I will meet you when we finish the round. And that's the last one. All right, so now we are going to start making the neck. So we're going to start coming in and up. So what we're going to need to do is basically do what we did in the um, base in reverse. So we're going to decrease or crochet two together. And how you do that is you insert, yarn over, and then, and then we're going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over so that you have three on your hook. And then we're just going to pull through all three. So what we essentially did is made the first two stitches in the row one stitch. And then we're just going to single crochet into the next four. One, two, three, and four. So now we're going to repeat. We're going to make these two stitches into one stitch. So that's insert, yarn over, pull through. Insert, yarn over, pull through so that you have three on your hook. And you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And then single crochet into the next four. Two, three, and four. So let's do that one more time and then 
Uh, we will meet. I will. We will meet back up when we're when I when we have finished the round. So insert yarn over, pull through. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And I'll meet you when we're all done with this round. And this is the last one. All right, so now we are down to 40 if you kept your count. And you should have ended with the four single crochets. And now for row 14, we are going to decrease again in the first. So that's insert, yarn over, pull through. Insert in the next one, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three on your hook. Now we're going to mark it. And then we're going to do single crochet in the next three. That's one, two, and three. And that's our pattern. So now we're just going to do it. I'll show, I'll do it with you one more time. And then we will meet up again when we're all finished with our rounds. So that's insert yarn over pull through insert yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through all three one two three and we're just going to do that all the way around and i will meet you when we finish the round. And the last one. All right, so now we are on round 15. And we are going to do a decreasing round one last time so that again is a insert yarn over pull through insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through all three and then we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches so that's one two And then we're going to do it again. Insert yarn over, pull through. Insert yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three. And then one, two. And just like that, all the way around. And we will meet back up when I am finished with this round. Alright, I am just completing my round. And you should have a count of 24 after this. Alright, so now we're going to work on the holes for to put the drawstring through. So first we're going to single crochet.
chain one. We're going to skip a stitch and go into the next stitch. We're going to single crochet. And one more time, we're going to single crochet. chain, skip a stitch, single crochet. And just like that, all the way around, single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. All the way around. And then the last single crochet. All right. And then to get a little height on round 18 or 17, sorry, we are going to half double crochet into the stitch into each stitch around. And when you come to the chain one stitch, stitch into the chain itself and not into the chain, this space. You're just going to work your hook into the chain. itself. Oops. Doing single crochets for so long, I forgot what I was doing. So half double crochet in there. And then into the stitch here this one here. And just do that all the way around. Making sure you go into the stitch itself and not the space that was created. And like I did just demonstrated, it can be difficult to get in there, but do your best to avoid the chain one space. All right, so I'm going to stop the half double crochet right here and I will show you why. Because if I were to go into my rim and con uh, continue on and do the slip stitch as I plan, like so, just as a, an example, you have this huge step down here and it is completely uneven. I don't think it looks good. So what I'm going to do instead of going straight into my slip stitches, I'm going to stop one before my end row and I'm going to single crochet into the last stitch to help gra graduate down so that it is a small de uh, 
downhill instead of a huge step down. And then I'm just going to go into my slip stitches. So for round 19, we are doing a quick round of slip stitches for the to give it a nice clean look on top. You just yarn over, pull through, and pull through again. And I'm trying to make these relatively loose so that uh, there's not a whole lot of resistance when I open and close my bag. And here we are at our last slip stitch. So now we're just going to make this final slip stitch. Chain one. And there we have it. Our small dice bag. I'll just work this end here and then we will work on the drawstring. Now let's make our chain. So we're just going to start with any other, like any other base chain. Slip knot. And then we're just going to chain. Now to desired length, I am going to go for uh, 50 and see how that works. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I won't make you watch me count, make all of them. So I will meet with you when I'm all done. All right, so I have 50 here. And to test to see if it'll go around, depending on if you want it to go around once or twice, uh, I won't mind to go around twice. So you just lay it across and see if it'll go around twice and meet back here, where you in your starting point, or if you just want to go. Like this, hold here, and that'll be your starting point, and then wrap it around twice. If you want to do just once around, 50 will be enough, but since I want to do twice around, I'm going to go for another 50. So I will meet you back, I will meet back up with you when I hit 100. Alright, so I have my 100 chain here. And I already fastened off, so I am just going to work the chain into the gaps we made in round 16. I'm going to use my crochet hook, grab hold of the drawstring, and then just work it in. Here's the next one.
And if you want, you can work these ends into the strap itself, but I think I'm going to leave them like this. Maybe make this tail a little shorter. And there you have it. Bound up. Looks like that. So I got my two sets of dice right here. And all these dice fit comfortably into this bag. Let's see. I don't think you can see in there. But there is more than enough room in there and probably and I'd say room for two more sets of dice in there. I don't know if you can see in there. I think you can. Here, let me see if I can adjust my light a little bit. There. And they fit in there nicely with more than enough room left over. So this will be my D&D dice bag for my personal set. Sets, as in more than one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day.